Alrighty guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be spawning in on Fractured Cowshed. Now right away I'm going to go up this hill and take information from my surroundings. I can hear that generator's being worked on. I'm going to check what killer we're versing, where my teammates are. I know somebody's on that. I know I'm in the middle of the map and I have no information provided. I'm going to give it about three seconds for me to be able to find any form of information from other teammates. I find nothing. I they were right. We're going to, there you go. I saw a little bit of movement at the shack then, I think at the last second, and that's going to be a Michael Myers. Now, I want to work on this gen. He's pretty close to it. Therefore, I think he knows that nobody's on this generator. He's going to run right past it and go towards that one over there. This is good for us. Notice how he's going straight towards that generator. Kind of makes me think he has discordance. Rather than checking the gen on the left, unless he used sound to check it, like he did on the generator on the right. They're going to get forced off on this. I'm going to complete this generator. I'm going to go on and continue on that. This means I have two other teammates that are MIA, right? They're Maya. I don't know where they are. He got stalked on them, therefore they didn't respond appropriately, unfortunately, but that is okay. That crow's spawning in. I'm going to use that as an indicator if somebody is still at that loot. See how the crow has already despawned and left? That tells me that somebody is still at that loot. Now, it could be the killer with the survivor, or it could be somebody working on that generator. Right now, as far as I know, two people are accounted for, including myself. Two people are Maya. That's going to be regression on a generator through a killer perk, and it looks like he's coming right through the middle of the map. He's not coming towards me. That gives him a zero meter heartbeat as well. That is a pyramid head teachable. Bit of an interesting perk to be using on Michael Myers, but at the same time, I'm going to get this generator done here. That is not on me, that is somebody else, and it's pretty damn early as well. Movement on my left from Adam. He's going to come right back in towards this. He's searching the chest first. Alright, that is three people accounted for, I think. Still two, but you know, a generator should have been completed if they were working down here by now. So this means I, I'm kind of thinking everybody's grouped on one side of the board. I should not be coming in for this. But I know Myers is in tier 3. Which gives me an appropriate amount of time to jump straight onto this generator. The pallet is already gone. Generator is nearly completed. This is why Tinkerer would have been a superior choice for this Michael Myers. Looking at the bottom left, there is no obsession. There's that person completing that generator across the board. Now I think everybody is accounted for. Myers has already used his tier 3. He's put a marker down through his map, through his, a crystal bead. I'm going to go over here to the right and work on this generator. Right now, Myers is getting absolutely destroyed in terms of gen placement, but at the same time, he is overcommitting to his chases. He needs to let go. Thought we could hear a crow behind us. We could see we've got a Claudette over here as well, and she does not have a map in her hand. That tells me that there was somebody else on that generator over there. This is good to know. Myers has still got his tier 3. It'll be expiring real soon. It's not permanent tier 3. There goes his tier 3. I'm going to go round. I'm going to go through. Now, if he wastes all this time with me, that'll be good for us. Well done. I'll happily take an M1. I'm going to wait with him. Step in the window. That's bamboozled. He stepped that way... No, it's not bamboozled. It felt like he stepped it way too fast. Miles off with that, and I've already vaulted the window three times. I need line of sight to reset bloodlust and chase, which is exactly what happened. There goes another generator. We got another gen on our right hand side. Myers is Maya behind me. He's going to continue to check on that generator. I'm just going to sidestep here and go right back into the generator I was originally working on. That was really unlucky timing for me. He's close, but I have dead heart. Didn't even need it. If he moonwalks, we'll make a different play. He can have it now though. One generator left. Using line of sight. Good play by him. However, he thought I'd double back. He didn't even see me then. He doubled back to break the pallet. Now I'm at the god loop again. If he did for whatever reason see me, I could have dead hearted around the loop I currently was at and made the window if I needed to. He goes going to get regression on this. Looks like our other Adam's already running in. There's our Myers. Coming towards me, which is fine. I'm going to go around this. I need to check where both doors are. Both doors are accounted for. Running on my right. Oh, no, inside. That's fine. He's looking for tier 3. I'm going to walk inside him. That's good. That's really good. I can make a loop on this, and I know he doesn't have know it. Double step. Window open. A window, sorry. Door open. I can hear the door. He's on the wrong side, and just like that, we're going to be able to get out through the exit gate because he mispositioned himself. 
We were listening for the door. The door is done. And that puts Myers in a really awkward spot because he ran the jungle gym the way I wanted him to run it. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. If you join this educational informative rank one survivor game, I wasn't a duo queue. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button for more educational informative DVD killer and survivor content. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the fog in the next video. Have a good one.